Hi, I'm Sam Milne from Canterbury Kayaking. Today I'm going to talk about paddle feather. Seems like a simple concept, but once we get into it, we find out that the way to set our paddle feather correctly might not be what you expected. So prepare to have your minds blown. If you don't already know what paddle feather is, we're talking about the relationship between the two blades. So right now this paddle is set to zero degrees feather, which means the left blade is zero degrees different to the right. If we change the feather, now the left blade is 30 degrees different, and this is 90 degrees, okay? So there's 90 degrees difference in the paddle blades. Why does this matter? Well, if we have our paddle set to zero, yep, and we take a stroke, the top blade is pushing into the headwind that might be coming into us, which is creating wind drag. And if you Google paddle feather, that's what you're going to find. Uh, all the top page results are going to tell you uh, it's all about wind drag on that top blade, and the solution is to change it to 90. So now that we've got 90 degrees, we take a stroke on the right, and that top left blade is now cutting through that headwind problem solved. Not really. Wind drag is not the reason you want to set your paddle feather. We need to look a little bit closer at what's happening when we take our stroke to find the perfect paddle feather for neutral wrists through both strokes. Okay. So what we want to achieve really for maximum performance, um, particularly on the river um, or surf ski, is we want our top hand top wrist to remain straight while it's pushing through the stroke, okay, on both sides. Now, if we set it up to 90, okay, the right blade's always square, but then as I move the paddle across to take that stroke uh, on the left, keeping my wrist relatively straight, you can see that that blade is uh, still not right. And so on these beginner kayak courses that happen all over the world, they tell people when they first pick up the paddle and they go, oh, the blades aren't the same. The answer is to do this with your wrist, okay? Now, that leads to people getting sore wrists or inefficient strokes. So the solution, and a lot of people have figured this out kind of already without knowing it, that somewhere in between 0 and 90 works. So you might use 30, 45, 55, 70 degrees, depending on what? Depending on how far across you take your right hand in your forward stroke. So the reason the left blade twists when we take our stroke shouldn't be because we're doing this. It should be relative to the position of your top hand as you take the stroke. So as you move your right hand across your body or across your kayak, what happens is you get a natural twist in that blade. So keeping my right wrist straight, as I move my right hand across and up, then that changes the angle of that left blade. So the higher you take your top hand across the kayak, the more offset you're going to need to square it up on that left side. So if you've got an adjustable paddle, that's really handy. All you're going to need to do is open up your adjuster, sit in your kayak in the water preferably, and pretend you're taking a left stroke. Okay. Get your hands about where they normally go. You might need to test this a few times to find out where you normally paddle. And then with your left blade square in the water, we're going to grip the right hand and square your wrist up so it's straight. Okay. So we want a square blade on the left and a straight wrist up top. Clamp that down. And then if your adjuster has dials on it, you'll find that I chose 65 for what I demonstrated there. But it might be different when I hop in my kayak. Um, but that, that, that is about what I normally use. Yours might be different depending on how high you take that top hand and how much natural twist you're putting into that left blade as you move that right hand over across the boat. Okay, So it's going to depend on your paddling style. Uh, this is an adjustable sea kayak paddle, the Palm Drift. If we grab this Gara racing paddle, yeah, it's got an adjustable shaft as well, so you're free to do the same exercise. 
get out there, plant that left blade, adjust that wrist so it's straight and powerful, clamp it back down, and you'll end up somewhere around 60 to 70 degrees if you have a good technique. If your hands are too low during your stroke, you probably need to either correct your forward stroke technique or um, simply lower the angle of feather that you use. Okay, white water. Here's a white water paddle set at 45 degrees, which most white water paddlers are going to find pretty good. Um, if you do a lot of sweep strokes, so with lower hands you're reaching wider, then 45 is going to um, put your wrist into kind of a weird position. Um, so 30 might work better if you take a lot of low strokes like bracing and sweeps most of the time, but if you're a more vertical paddler, slalom races will use a higher uh, paddle angle, for example, like 60 degrees or so. So I hope that gives you a little bit more information um, so that you can set up your paddle feather correctly and you can forget personal preference, okay? I know some of you are like, oh, I've been using 45 for 20 years and love it. Well, test it if you haven't already. Maybe 55 is gonna be better if you've got an advanced forward stroke. So, there you go. Uh, comment below with your thoughts, maybe tell me your, uh, your preference on paddle feather and, uh, and tell me what happens when you go and test that uh, for real. If you'd like help uh, setting up your own uh, paddle feather then come along to one of our forward stroke technique lessons which run all through summer on our coast to coast multi-sport kayak course uh, on the first day we take a look at your paddle your setup of your boat and we set those things your paddle feather up um, perfectly for your stroke style so come along to one of those thanks very much